got kind of bored thinking and stuff like that. And I figure, well, I've been doing a lot of research on this. And I found a perfect method for it. This method requires a PC, your personal router or spare router, a cell phone, regardless if it's working or broken or old. So I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into a security system. So let's get started. If you got an old router laying around, such as this Verizon router, this does not have service, you can still make some good use out of it. You can make it as your personal surveillance router. So what you do is you take your router and plug it up. Is it's an official power cord and the whole nine yards. So a lot of that's booting up. Go to the Play Store on your active internet connection and download this application, IP Webcam. Once you get it installed into your phone, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to our settings. Now the router is still booting up, so I'll get to that in a little bit, but connect to that router or your personal one, it doesn't really matter. Do the same thing for your phones. There's my G4, it's busted. Try not to cut myself. And I can hook this up onto that security router that I have. Same thing with your old phones. If you got a bunch of Android phones, they'll come in handy. Now another great thing is, I haven't tried it out on these devices yet. This one doesn't have a battery. I don't know. I think I lost it. But I can get an SD card for this particular phone, a 16 gig or a 32 gig. But I recommend a old phone can at least hold up to 32 gigs, but you can put in a 16 or 32. Because what I'm about to show you is that your phones and your computer all can work together as your big surveillance center. So with the micro SD card or internal memory on a phone being 32 gigs, you can record a long ass time. I think you can go up to a day. Actually, it's not a day because eight hours is eight gigs and it took me forever to estimate it, but yeah. An hour of recording is eight gigs, so you get about 24 hours, so yeah, about a day of recording. So let's see if that router is up and running. If not, I'm just gonna have to come back. Oh, there it is. I've named my network down here Surveillance. If you focus, I named it Surveillance, So we're gonna go ahead and connect to it. Once you are connected, we are going to oops, go to that IP webcam. Right there is its logo. And if you want to set your phones to roar, it will record because I bet you guys will be saying, what's the PC for? The computer itself will be used as a uh, main recorder that will record everything that goes on. You can use a screen capture, which I'm about to show you guys that. Uh, here in a little bit when I'm doing a desktop recording but once you're on the app we are going to go to you can have audio enabled if you want but it may take up more data depending on the kilobits if I can find it uh, there you go video preferences I don't know if I pronounce it right Everything's going to be default, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about the resolution, the whole nine yards. But we're going to go to video recording. And we're going to go to video format. Once in video format, besides if you start server, I may ask you to download the MKV. To me, that's useless. I didn't like it. didn't work for me very well, so I used the MPEG-4. MP4. And it says it may be unstable for some devices, so the MKV or remove vi uh, videos may be um, compatible with it. But what can be really compatible with it is installing DLC Media Player, where you take the recording footage and just stick it in your computer in case the computer itself goes down or 
the phone. I'll show you how all that works. So once you choose your video format, we're going to go to the bit rate. Video bit rate. We're going to set it for 15 megabytes. Only have 15 minutes for 2,000 kilobytes a second. And uh, right there, you are set. I don't see the other thing. You also got to clean up here. It will uh, clean up your phone if your phone reaches to 512 megabytes. And you can do chunk sizes. Now, in case if the power goes out, your phone dies, I recommend setting it for five minutes. So that way, it'll stop the recording for five for the first five minutes. It's still continuous record. It'll just stop a file at five minutes and still continue on every five minute segments. So after you get that set up, I don't want to exit out, but back out into the main menu. And we are going to go down to start server. Once you are on here, how do I connect? You can just click on that, connect directly using Wi-Fi router, and it will give you your phone, the IP address, and after all the IP address, you got the number of your device, port 8080. And right there's the whole thing. This will not work for yours. If you don't know what your IP address is, the, the application will tell you what it is. Just type exactly what it shows you right here on the top. So just say OK. Click on Actions. Run in background. OK, I got it. And then you power off, not power off, but stand by your phone. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this on over to the laptop computer, and I'm going to show you this thing in action. All right, and we are big. All right, I'm going to show you how this is done. So this will should work on any browser, but we're going to use Google Chrome. Let's full screen this thing for you guys. And um, that IP address I showed you guys, just type it in there. This one's all that. Number four. Two dots. Eight zero eight eight zero eight zero. You guys will start seeing a copy of the laptop screen. Okay, my bad. I thought it was a four. I don't see how the hell I looked at it as a four. It's a two. So, just come out. Go the browser. And there you go. There is security camera number one. And you can do a lot of great things with this. This is running off the LG G3. I can prove it to you guys. Show you that this is the LG G3. Crap, I turned that off. I don't think it will hurt the recording on my microphone if I just go to the camera and just do it this way. If I can get in a good view. Hey, there's the LG G3. That is the camera. So you can hook up just about as many cameras as you like. I've actually had three running at the same time on my network, which is my standard router, but with that Verizon router, I have no idea. And I can do the same thing with a G4 here. And like I said, broken phone, so I'll shatter the pieces. Now the G4 said I've been using the busted phone as a surveillance camera ever since, but you can tell I'm about to get ready. Thanks. I feel like I got thrown off just because of the G4. Thing. Go ahead and do this. 
I had this uh, upbeat. I had to figure out what the IP address was on the router because I want to configure the admin options. Do it this way. It'll be a little show off right here. But we're going to throw this in full screen and you can readjust it to whatever size you want. Uh, this size should be fine. I'm trying to get a whole video fit in there. You can do the same thing with this one. Full screen it. Drop it. Measure it correctly. And uh, I advise you to keep the settings along with each other in case you want to make some changes. But let's say you want to watch your computer. Let's go ahead. Let's say you want to watch your computer. You want a close-up view in this angle, and you got a further away angle. Now here's something cool with this. Your computer is the main thing that will record everything you see in the screen. As you guys can see on here, uh, this is just a screen and you guys get these two windows here, nothing fancy. Um, if you want to do this, let's say you're afraid the power is going to go out. Your phones are going to last longer than your laptop will, or your desktop, or your battery backup, whatever the case may be. On here, this is the LG G3. You can, I already said it through the software, but you can do it through the browser too. This is recorded every five minutes. So every, like I said, it will continuous record. And I can show you the G4. It's got a ton of these things. The memory is completely full on the G4. Um, I'm not going to show the video footage because it will give out the where I'm located. But what you do is you tell it to start recording. Then you get it that that dot saying it's recording. So you go right here. Now I don't mind this at all because I'm using the free version and this will do just okay just to protect your ass from any moron. Same thing with this one. I don't know why my G4 didn't set up for five minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell the G4 to record five minutes and then the program that I'm using, Camcasia Studio and uh, you can actually use that program to record your screen so that way you got your save file in three places the master computer which is recording all the video footages you have on here phone or camera one whatever you want to name them will have it in its internal memory and so do this one so if a court comes in here and goes hmm i'm gonna take down this phone they can probably do it too. They can like go ahead and take down the phone, smash it in the ground and stuff, thinking, okay, this family's camera doesn't have any memory. Well, it does, but you won't be able to get it recovered. But if they don't know where your master computer is, you just got their face on that first camera before it was sabotaged. And then you got another camera watching or whatever. And if your computer goes down, yes, you're gonna lose that first footage but I don't know how all of that will work, but if you got another camera watching your one camera and so on, you know, you might be able to catch somebody in the act, but something's going to catch. So, hide your master computer somewhere. Got a camera here, camera here. If they go down, you got a computer. If they're still running, your computer goes down, you got to look through the data for this one and this one. If they're fucking smart enough to sabotage the whole damn thing, then you're pretty much a shit out of luck. But you can keep these phones charged with the original charger constantly. I've been running the G4 uh, about three days straight now doing the security uh, around the house here. And I have not had any issues and they've been continuously recording and recording and recording. And like I said, the memory fills up. The phone will delete the older files and create new ones as it goes. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this video making good use from your old phones, routers, or you can use your current router. I hope you guys really enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.